Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to cover the Atomic Shop. Today's Tuesday, so we should be having an update. Uh, afterwards, we're going to take a look at the daily weekly challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some scores, see what we are facing against the daily ops, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to get today for doing my daily update. So let's stop wasting time, jump right into it. All right, let's see what we got. Boom. Ammo converter. <laughs> they actually made it to the at at atomic shop. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, just for those who do not know, and you just started playing recent recently, you haven't played season one. Uh, this was included in season one, and I thought it was included for Gold Bullion. Nah. I thought. Okay. Well. It's back to the atomic shop. I'm gonna have to switch to my wife's account because that account doesn't own anything, and we'll be able to see the prices. I'm really curious to find out what's the price for this thing. Uh, and we see a couple of good items like this one. I definitely recommend. This is the caravan trader outfit that a lot of you been asking about for the past months because I've been rolling with this outfit for the last couple of months, and it's back. So uh, you know what? Uh, let me go ahead and jump to my wife's account and we'll see uh, all the prices. All right, there we go. Now we can see the prices and the ammo converter costs 500 atoms. <laughs> well, to be honest, uh, I got this. It was bad, very bad. They kind of fixed it, but they did not fix it the way we wanted to, and it's still kind of bad. I'm not sure if they ever got fixed again. Uh, personally, myself, I've not been using uh, this specific item, and uh, I don't know if I, I don't think I even want to recommend it I mean you can get it uh, I thought it was available for gold bullion by the way but anyway um, you submit you get ammo points you use the ammo points to buy ammo but the functionality is bad I think also the rates are bad uh, try YouTubing uh, maybe someone has made an, an update the uh, version of the ammo converter I remember I did the first version and the second version but I'm pretty sure there was no third version. <laughs> Alright, so vault Tech Prototype uh, Purifier. There we go. Uh, then, oh wait, we already had these. Okay, so the Bone Gas Mask is actually pretty cool. I bought it today and I combined it with my new uh, outfit combo. <laughs> that you've seen at the start of the video, which I'm going to cover a little bit later on. And yeah, because uh, I got a couple requests uh, to make a, a new outfit combo video <laughs> so that will come uh, maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow uh, I'll see uh, then we got some power armor skins the Liberty Prime power armor skin set which are really nice power armors to be honest they also uh, interact so he speaks <laughs> uh, so yeah but I'm pretty sure you'll find some uh, other reviews on YouTube before buying it that's what I would recommend definitely because the price is uh, pretty high so I definitely recommend watching those videos before you make any purchases uh, but yeah personally they are dope and uh, I have some Z-Climb members who are making some real crazy combinations with those power armors and they look great uh, Stalker outfit is a very old outfit I would actually recommend it just to get the bandana so basically if you buy this bundle you get the actual goggles the bandana and the outfit uh, goggles, bandana, and the head wear section at the work uh, workbench, and the outfit in the outfit section, right? Uh, it's a unique bandana. It differs from all the bandanas that are there, and it's actually pretty cool, and I haven't used it in some time. Maybe I should get back, back to it. Uh, the Caravan Trader outfit, as I said, a really nice outfit. I've been rolling in with it for months, and I love it. And yeah, I definitely recommend this one. Definitely. Uh, Wastelander Trapper outfit. Uh, oh man, I don't remember. Do I have it on my main? I remember I bought it. I think I bought it on PC though. It's got a a cool gas mask. That's for sure. Uh, I don't know. 50-50 of my recommendation. Survivalist outfit. Uh, no, I would not recommend. I personally bought it because I thought it would work. And it's actually also a pretty old outfit. And I thought it was going to work uh, in the same procedure with the Stalker outfit. So basically, you can kind of get the hat, the mask, and the outfit separately. 
If I remember correctly, I was very disappointed because the hat and the mask is a one item, so you can't put anything else, it's like replace another hat. I would really love that mask. <laughs> that mask looks dope. Uh, but unfortunately, you cannot replace uh, that hat, which kind of sucks. So, yeah. Uh, I really think I bought it on PC. Yeah, on PC, and I've never used it. I've used the armor because we uh, back in the day, we didn't have a lot of different types of outfits. Uh, but yeah, that's my feedback. So, White Springs Resort, uh, we've covered this uh, last week. Uh, greatest hits, so we got the uh, the Goss weapon skins, including the bundle, right, with no discount, and the actual skins separately and no discount. I wonder why. That sucks. If they were at least were able to put some sort of a discount on a separate item, we'd buy a separate item, and then minus the calculations from the bundle. Oh, by the way, uh, bundles. Oh, damn. Uh huh. You see, with my main, I did not see all this stuff because I already own the bundle. So, survival is bundle is back. I have a review for it. It's actually pretty dope. I really like this outfit as well. I've been rolling with it a couple of times, and yeah, it's a really good bundle. So you might want to grab it. Uh, then we got the green thumbs, the scrapper bundle. Woohoo! Yeah. This is also a pretty good one. Especially it has the under armor and this under armor is pretty cool to use in nuclear winter. And then those bundles I can't say much. Well anyway, you can check out those bundles. I don't see them here anymore. They don't pop so apparently they always now pop in the bundle section. So I need to get used to the new flow. Alright, so back to the great hits. Uh, we got the Enclave skin and some items over here. And the eye patch, by the way. The eye patch, uh, a lot of people have been asking about this eye patch before. Uh, and yeah, so it's back and it's actually pretty cool to have, especially if you like making different types of uh, outfit combos. Uh, definitely something you want to grab, especially for like, it's a low price and you get like, what, nine of them? If I remember correctly, US Army paint. I don't know. I'm not gonna get it. It it it, it don't look like any, and it works with T45, T51, T60, T65, Ultra Side, Excavator, X01, and what? Oh yeah, T65. Okay, but yeah, I I don't know. It's just like okay, the power armor. It doesn't even change the looks of it. It's just like it's it's got painted into green. Oh, a little bit of writing. So I don't know. Not not. Not not for me, but maybe for someone else, definitely that's gonna. Maybe if you're like making a military camp, military stuff, like military focus, maybe this thing would be something that you'd like to have. Um, fireman paint. This is for the flamethrower. Okay. Uh, Vault Tech fridge. Okay. Uh, I mean, good to have. Although I don't use, but if you like making some restaurant camps and stuff like that, maybe that's something you want to get. Uh, greaser pause. Pose. Pose. Cool. Oh, greaser jacket and jeans. Also a very old outfit. And it's actually a pretty cool one. You can find a, a free version, but a dirty version. And I had it on PC. and I don't remember if I have it on Xbox. If I don't, I'm going to grab it. Uh... Junk box, jukebox. All right, I mean, and yeah, just uh, run through all the other sections. I'm gonna check follow first once I switch back to my main. Let's see what else we got here. Blushy bundle. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to my main. All right, so in the featured list, the special for the follow first, you have the. I can't pronounce that thing, man. <laughs> Quack outfit. <laughs> Quack. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. And I never used it when I got it. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even remember why I got it. I thought it was dope. Or well, maybe because of the mask. I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's pretty much it about the Atomic Shop. Uh, covered pretty much everything. And just in case, uh, feel free to scroll through all of the sections. Because sometimes it does happen that things don't get to the feature list. And you might going to miss out on something. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and check our challenges. Daily challenge completed, daily operation. We're going to do that right now. Uh, complete an event, essentially. Easy kill uh, 25 creatures. Level up one time. Nuclear winter kill a creature. Super easy. Uh, use photo mode to take a photo. We're going to do that right now. It's super easy. Uh, visit another player's shelter. Okay, so weekly uh, buy or sell an item from another player 25 times. Damn. Man, this thing is the most annoying from all of them. You gotta buy one bullet, one bullet, one bullet. That's what I do. So, one bullet, one bullet, one bullet, 25 times. <laughs> complete daily operation five times. Complete a daily star. Okay, this is if you're gonna do all your dailies today. This will get triggered automatically. Complete an event ten times. Eat pre-war food. Kill a huge creature. Three of them. Here's the last behemoth, deathclaw, monster, and so on and so forth. Uh, kill a legendary enemy ten times. Level up three times. Repeatable XP. And visit not... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, five times. But go in, out, in, out, in, out. Or hopefully that the player has a good connection of sh between his shelter lobby. <laughs> you just jump from one point to another, and you get it done. Man, this is okay. Whatever. Uh, let's complete one before I forget. Take a selfie. Look at that handsome dude. All right, here we go. Complete those. And for the daily ops, we've got. Volt 94 Super Mutants and Freezing Touch. Okay, that's pretty dope. I mean, Volt 94 I like is pretty easy, plus it's not resilient, so it's good. Now I'll see what I'm going to get. Uh, oh, rank 67. So, Alright, so I'm going to show you the rewards. Oh, by the way, by the way, how about we play that game that we played yesterday? Try to guess what I'm going to get with my daily dungeon reward. <laughs> Yeah, so comment uh, before you actually see the reward. What do you think I'm gonna get? Pause. Make a comment. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go do this thing real fast. Get out of here, man. I gotta go. By the way, a little quick tip from Z. Once you've uh, done your first thing, make sure to start your run before the actual timer runs out. In that case, you will get to kind of earn yourself those additional seconds. Uh, yeah, and that's a, it. Really helps when you're playing solo. Oh man, I moved out a little bit early. I'm losing out on, on a few seconds over here. So basically, you just run out and then initiate the next update. All right, so final boss. Let's go. Sometimes I really hate this. Oh, Kaponsky, I forgot that I removed the born survivor. Anyway, since I bought myself those extra seconds, everything is good. I still managed to do it on Elder Solo. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got. Man, those games sometimes just... Get out of here. Leave me alone! It goes nothing. 7.42. Man, not the best result in this specific one. Usually I do it faster. <laughs> Ah, I love this game! <laughs> oh, damn. Alright, Z Clan and everybody else, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So, if you want your comments to be read, feel free to comment your positive, negative feedback, whichever. Just don't swear. As simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine. You might want to join our Discord channel. The link is down in the video description. Make sure to read our rules. Uh, otherwise, you're most probably going to get banned if you break. <laughs> yeah, everything over there is pretty straightforward. Uh, go to Access Chats Chat, uh, select the roles so you see the chats that you want to see because we have a big Discord. Anyway, thanks all for watching. You all have a good one today, Nate. Whatever you guys like, it. I'll see you in the next video. By the way, what'd you get today at the uh, daily op? <laughs> Please share. Because I'll be being getting it, man. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I'll see you later. From the...